Hi, my name is Stephanie Brendage. I am 19 years old. This is my fourth year in the ARBA. Today I'll be showing a Britannia Petite Sable Martin Senior Doe. The Britannia Petite is a four-class full arch breed that is posed. This rabbit's ear tattoo number is D R U N K B L O A T B U N. I'm checking for any excess of earwax, ear mites, ear canker, any rips and tears of the ear, proper ear carriage thickness and length, and for any white spots, wooliness, or baldness on the backs of the ears. I'm checking for a tattoo that does not belong. Only the ARBA registration tattoo should be in the right ear. I'm checking for any excess of earwax, ear mites, ear canker, any rips and tears of the ear, proper ear carriage thickness and length, and for any white spots, wooliness, or baldness on the backs of the ear. I'm checking for cloudy eye, weepy eye, wall eye, moon eye. Any signs of conjunctivitis or blindness, proper eye color, which is brown, and any wounds on the eye or eyelid or any swelling. The ARBA recognized eye colors include brown, blue, blue gray, marbled, and pink. I'm checking for any excess of nasal discharge, any foreign spots or colors, or torn or missing pieces, or signs of snuffles. Any nasal discharge has to be white in order to be sufficient evidence to be a cold. If it's clear snot or wet around the nostrils, it's not sufficient, sufficient evidence and therefore is not a disqualification. I'm checking for malocclusion in the simple and severe forms. Simple forms include pegged or butted teeth. Severe forms include buck teeth or wolf teeth. I'm checking for proper incisor alignment. I'm looking to make sure that the lower incisors meet up with the pegged teeth behind the upper incisors. I'm also checking for any broken or missing incisors, for proper bite, which is an overbite, and any obvious signs of malocclusion in the molars, and then any abscesses, blemishes, or tumors on the jaw, throat, and chest area. I'm also checking for presence of the dewlap. This breed disqualifies for having a dewlap. What she has is a pencil line since there's no fold of skin. I'm checking for straightness of the forelegs. I want to be sure that the forelegs are parallel, that they're both the same length, and they actually can stretch out. I'm checking for proper bone density, which is fine, and any broken bones or dislocated joints. I'm checking for matted paw, which is a symptom of a cold, sore paw, any broken or missing toes or toenails, proper nail color, which is dark, any mismatched or white toenails, or any extra toes. One, two, three, four, and a dewclaw. The only breed that allows for mismatched toenails in the non-broken color is the Harlequin. I'm checking for proper bone density, which is fine, and any broken bones, and for any dislocated joints. I'm checking for matted paw, for sore paw, any broken or missing toes or toenails, proper nail color which is dark, and any white or mismatched toenails, or any extra toes. One, two, three, four, and a dew claw. All of her front toenails match and are dark. I'm checking for pigeon breast. And since she's a doe, I'm also checking for mastitis. I'm checking the chest and belly for abscesses, blemishes, tumors, or abnormalities. I'm checking for straightness of the hind legs. 
As with the front, they should be straight and parallel and should extend to the same length. I'm checking for proper bone density, which is fine, and any broken bones or dislocated joints. I'm checking for sore hocks, any broken or missing toes or toenails, proper nail color, which is dark, and any white or mismatched toenails, and for any extra toes. One, two, three, four, and the rear feet only have four toes and no dew claw. I'm checking for proper bone density, which is fine, and any broken bones, and for any dislocated joints. I'm checking for sore hocks, any broken or missing toes or toenails, proper nail color, which is dark, and any mismatched or white toenails, and for any extra toes. One, two, three, four. Again, the rear feet do not have a dew claw. I'm checking the sex of the rabbit. She is a doe. I'm checking for hutchburn or vent disease. If this was a buck, I would be also looking for split penis and properly descended testicles. I'm checking for rye tail, screw tail, dead tail, bob tail, broken tail, and proper tail straightness and carriage. When I move the tail side to side, it should return to its normal position in the center. Again, I'm examining the tail to make sure it has proper carriage. Now that the rabbit's turned over, I'm feeling for any signs of hernia, also known as rupture. Okay. I'm checking for proper fur type. The Britannia Petite should be a flyback fur. This rabbit has flyback fur. Rollback fur for the Britannia Petite is a disqualification. Other fur types include standing, rex, wool, and satin. I'm checking for proper density, texture, coat length, for proper surface color, and for proper under color. And then I'm also looking at the color specific traits. So what I want to see is I want to see shading. Should be darker over the top, lighter over the sides. Lack of shading is a disqualification for this variety. I'm also looking that the insides of the ears are white, that the eye circles are white, the insides of the nostrils are white, the triangle is white, the jowls are white, and that the underside of the tail and the belly is white. I'm also checking to make sure that the proper belly undercolor is present. The belly undercolor should match the undercolor over the back of the rabbit as well. This rabbit's undercolor is very light, which constitutes a disqualification because it does not match. Another disqualification I found related to color on this rabbit is a white spot on her chest area. The Britannia Petite is a four-class full arch breed. They're recognized in eight varieties, which include black, black otter, broken, blue-eyed white, chestnut agouti, ruby-eyed white, Siamese sable, and sable martin. The breed-specific disqualifications of the Britannia Petite include ears over two and three quarters inches. Ears under two and a half inches are a fault. Another disqualification of the Britannia Petite is that the head, if the head is in is round in all directions. Another disqualification is having rollback fur. And the last breed specific disqualification of the Britannia Petite is having a dewlap. Sable Martins disqualify for having improper belly undercolor, of which she is disqualified for. The Britannia Petite has 10 points for ears, 15 points for eye, 10 points for head, 15 points for coat, 10 points for feet and leg, and 25 points for body, and 5 points for condition. This rabbit has an excellent ear. When she's posed, her ears touch all the way up, showing no daylight in between. They're also very round on the tips and open. They're the proper length to balance with her body. They also have good substance and good fur coverage. She 
She has a very good head. I would like to see a little bit more width to her brow, but she has a very good side profile. She has a very good eye. I would like to see it just slightly bolder, but it does have good shape. It's open and it's very clear. She also has very good eye color. She has an excellent coat of fur. It has excellent density, excellent texture, excellent length. It's a very well balanced coat and it's well finished. She has good color. She's a little sunburnt on her hip, but the rest of her color is very even. She does have a couple stray whites throughout, which can be seen on her side right here. Stray whites cannot be confused for silvering, which is another variety specific trait. There should be ticking on the sides of the rabbit. She has a very good body type. She has an excellent hindquarter. She has a very good shoulder, and she rounds well over that hip. She has a very good feet and leg. It's very straight and creates that line that we want to see coming down from the ears to the eyes, down to the feet and leg. She's just slightly weak in ankle. Overall, she has excellent condition. She's not over fat, and she's also not too thin. The Britannia Petite's head shape should be wedge-shaped. From the top, the widest portion should be at the brow. It should widen from the base of the ears to the brow and going into a muzzle that is not pinched. The body type of the Britannia Petite should be well arched, about medium in length, and the hindquarter should be well filled. The ears should be short, well furred, thick, and rounded on the tips and open. They should also be carried perpendicular to the table, which is 12 o'clock to the head. The feet and legs should be fine and bone. There should be a straight line running between the ears and the eyes all the way down to the front leg to the table. That concludes my presentation.